And things get in ways. They don't end well. They don't end well. Never ever do. So I'd rather not have things get in ways. It's annoying. Hello everybody. Welcome to the next Let's Play. I know I haven't continued with the Pokemon thing, but that's because there's I'll explain as we go on, but let's just let this Soak in. If you're an old time gamer like me and you've played this, you know exactly what this is. Actually, that picture right there should tell you everything that you need to know. Just let this soak in. If you were raised on video games like me, you know this. And you know exactly why I'm doing this. Yep, that's right. Playing Chrono Trigger DS. The, re the port into the DS of one of the most classic RPGs of all gaming. I, I had to. It was between this, a Zelda game, and another Pokemon game, but I'm like, it's... I just did Pokemon. I, I, I want to do a full-scale Pokemon game, but not right now. I, I just did Pokemon and I'm still uploading it. I've only uploaded it up to part 27 as it is right now, even though I finished it. But it was either a Zelda game, which I'm like, well, which one do I do then? It would probably be Majora's Mask, but that just came out, so that might not be very good timing. Or I want to do a classic, one of my favorite games of all time. And this is one of my favorite games of all time. Along with other ones such as Majora's Mask and Earthbound. This, this was a great time for gaming. A lot of classics were made at this time. So this, I really wanted to do this eventually. I've played through this game. I don't even know how many times. I'm going to be doing as much as possible. I'm not going to be doing 100% because that would just be, oh, that would take forever. But I am going to do, um, I am going to be doing side quests and stuff like that. Those won't come up until later, but I will be doing side quests and such in order to get as much on the characters as possible. I won't be skipping anything major, I'll be doing as much detail as possible. And since this is the DS port, there's some new things added in on this one. I'm going to be trying to do all the endings, I've already done over half of them on my, act on my actual DS game. So, um... I've already made significant headway on that. I don't think it'd be too hard to do. So I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be aiming for all endings and all side quests. Getting like doing things like all items and max levels and everything would take too long. I'm probably going to be OP as it is because I love grinding and these kind of things. Because I just love being OP. I love being OP. So. I wouldn't worry too much about that, but that's what I intend to do. I intend to do side quests and all endings and possibly the stuff that was um, added on in this game. There was a new final boss added in on this game, as well as um, a whole new area added in on this game. It's not accessible until much later, but regardless, I still want to do something with that. So, um... That's how I intend to go about this. And without further ado, now that I've discussed that, let's get started. Oh, that's green. Oh, that's green. There's so many memories. So many memories. Such a classic. This was like the RPG to do all RP to begin all RPGs. And anyone that did play this remembers it fondly. It was originally for the NES time in which there were many classics. So let's get started. This is just infuriating, so I'm going to do that. Just going to do that. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to be sticking with um, their actual names by the um, as much as possible. There's only one name I want to change, and I will make a note of it when I do. I won't explain anything about it. 
there's just a preference. Okay, so we're not going to change anything. He's going to be Chrono. Chrono! Ah! There's like so many memories over oh, the nostalgia. Oh, what's going on over there? Ah, it's a party! Shall I look at the views? Someone's having a freaking party over there! Wanna go to that party? Look at that party! Looks pretty pumping! Looks like a lot of fun! Chrono! Chrono! Chrono, are you still sleeping? Well, come on, sleepyhead, it's time to get up! Dear me, I'd forgotten how beautiful Lean's bell sounds. Yep, beginning of all, all classic RPG. Ah, uh, it starts off with some axe. Okay. Nope. Your mom just wakes you up. You must have been so excited about the Millennial Fair that you couldn't sleep last night, could you? Well, you'd better not let that gayness get you into any trouble. I want you to behave yourself today. Come on now, out of bed with you. Oh yeah. And first thing we do, fish boobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm awake. It's something to celebrate. Awake. It's about time. By the way, you're going to go see... Oh dear, what was her name? That young inventress friend of yours. Yup, Luca. Just gonna keep her as he is. Ah, Luca. That's right, Luca. You're going to stop by and see her new invention at the fair, aren't you? Well, run along then and be back before dinner. Now, just a little thing. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. Yay! Twenty-five. Hey, little kitty. Uh, you're so cute. Oh, the kitty loves us. Okay, so here we are in the little hub world. You can go around and explore. Most of these are just going to be tutorials. And I don't think you want to sit through that. I'm going to be explaining everything for you. So, why do you need that? I don't need that. I don't need that. But I do want to make a quick little pit stop over here. Just a little pit stop. Garia Forest. So, um, you see we got the little menu at the bottom there. Um, game. Okay, then. Guess you're going to see my mouse right now. Hi, Mr. Mouse. Okay, yep. Main menu, yay! So we've got the equipment over here. Inventory. Tax. Bestiary. Party members. Saving later. And settings. Now, right now we are level 1, 70 HP, 8 MP, only 600 bucks. We do have normal stuff on here, uh, let me get that out of the way. Wind sword, hide cap, hide tunic, headband, just basic stuff right now. We're not equipped to really do much. But it's the beginning of the game, you know, you're not going to be doing much. The only reason why I'm even doing this is because I know a little something that I want. And that I want to explain. Okay, now this is something that I did simply because I want to do this early on. Um, this that I just got was a strength capsule. It was called a strength tab in the original. Um, basically, it increases the stat by one. And being that Chrono is obviously our main character, you are going to, and um, a sword user, you're going to want to use his strength. So we just go into the inventory, use it, use the Chrono, and see, there's only one stat stronger. Here we go. I tend to like to use those as they come, mainly because, um, in the first time that you play through this, it, seeing as how there are multiple endings, you know you're going to be playing through this a few times if you want to get all the endings. And over time you'll be able to keep those hired stats, but when you're just starting out, you want as much as you can get. Oh, well, hello there. Um, okay. Today is the, th is the 1000th anniversary of our kingdom's foundation. Enjoy the festivities. I surely would if I were your age. Oh, oh, oh. oh old man Hima. Okay, so we've got some stuff going on here. There's some little mini games here. You're seeing one of them. As we just walked in, this is a little race that you can bet on over here. Um, bet on who you think will win, and if they place, you'll get some points. Uh, this will be important later. It's a little tent. You use your points here. 
in order to get little prizes that will be important later. Here's Melchior the Swordsmith. Let's talk to him. Melchior the Swordsmith, at your service. Might I interest you in one of my fine blades? Sure, let's take a look what you get. Okay, well, we could actually get that. No, we actually can't. Let's just get the one upgrade we can. And as I expected, nothing else. Let's go equip that. Okay, slightly better. I live on the continent to the east. Come and see me if you ever have need. Not gonna be giving me. I need to think of the voice that I'm gonna use for these guys. Uh, here's a little game. I'll actually demonstrate this one. Um, it's like a little strength thing. Just walk up to it. Ah, there you go, guy, on the first try. We go up with one silver point on your cards. The silver points are what you get at the Millennial Fair here. This is just beginning, just a little party. Because everyone's all happy. It's a celebration. Hey. Oh, hello. Gee, I wonder who won that race. <laughs> uh, hello. Oh. Oh, ouch. Oh, I'm sorry. Ouch. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh oh, my pendant. Okay, now this is important. You want to talk to her first. Oh no, my pendant. Don't tell me I lost it. I'll explain every... You'll, everything will be explained later, but I'm going to be doing a few things around here just to, um... Later. To, uh, add on to something later. So, now we can go get her pendant after talking to her. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant! I know it doesn't look like much, but it has a lot of sentimental value. Can I... may I have it back? Of course. I'm gonna keep it, not gonna be a jerk like that. Thank you. You must live in this town. I came to see the fair. Awfully boring wandering around alone, though, isn't it? Hey, why don't we walk around together for a while? Wouldn't that be great? Sure. This'll be fun! Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's, uh, um... If you seriously forgot your name, something's wrong. Nah, I know, it's just game logic. And we're gonna keep her name as is as well. What is Marl? Marl? Marley? I don't know. I always said Marl. It's Marl, and you're... Chrono? What a nice name. Well, pleased to meet you, Chrono. Come on, let's enjoy the fair. Yay! And she actually has some stuff with her as well. So I'm just gonna, just gonna give her a little bit of an introduction here. Um, Marl is going to... She's obviously not as strong, so that's why I used it on Chrono. Chrono is going to be your main character that you're going to be using everything on, so you want him to be a beast. And Marl is... Marl uses a... Um, uses um, crossbows and such, so she's got her around the gun and all the normal stuff. So, Chrono's a swordsman. She is a bow master, I guess. You know. Archery master? I don't, I don't know. Okay, now, like I said, I'm going to be doing some things around here just to, um... To show you around here and to do something for later in the game. I'm not gonna say anything now because I don't want to spoil it, but oh, here's something with a little nice prehistoric room. You can actually dance, I think. Yeah. You can, you can dance. I'm doing this by pressing the buttons, by the way. Okay, I, I think we've seen that. Yeah, you can actually dance using the keys. I just think that's a little nice thing. Okay, here's a little soda chugging contest. It's gonna be hard on the keyboard. So much easier when you can just button mash. Probably competitive, aren't you, Chrono? Now this, this little girl over here has lost her little kitten. So, if you go over here, you can be a good Samaritan. I'm bring the cookie back to her. By the way, uh, I should mention this. My dear old wife made that lunch for me. Always the highlight of my day. It gives me that extra oomph when I'm starting to feel worn down. Don't eat that. Just, just trust me. Don't eat it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not nice. Okay, so now we got the little kitty with us. Now, if you remember, the little girl lost her kitty. Okay, just walk right through me, old man. Uh, I guess I'm a ghost. <laughs> Well, make yeah, he's gonna 
The cat's gonna clip on a lot. Come on, I didn't kitty. Okay, now I just talk to her now that you brought the cat back. You brought back my kitty, thank you! Chrono, you're so sweet. Now we did a little bit of a good deed there. Now I'm gonna show what's on the other end. I just wanted to bring the little kitty back. And like I said, don't eat that guy's lunch. That's a bad thing to do. And I'll explain all this later. You'll see it all later. This actually has an impact. So I'm just doing this stuff ahead of time. Call me Gato. I have metal joints. If you beat me up, you'll earn 15 points. This is just a little train thing that you could do if you want to. Um, just get your levels up. Um, get things started. Because, of course, you're weak in the beginning. You probably want to do a little bit of this. And at this point, I would probably use this to grind. And I probably will. Just because, needless to say, I don't want to be weak. I like being OP. Who doesn't? Every point counts in the end. Oh no, I have lost, and it seems you've won. You already 15 points. Now wasn't that fun? Okay, now I'm gonna just do a little bit of grinding here just to, you know, get my characters up just enough. So I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. I beat uh, Gato up for quite a bit there. <laughs> got both of them up to level uh, 4. Uh, got some of their HP increased and everything. So, I got a little bit of grinding done. I, I'm going to probably do even more off screen. I like being OP, dang it. And, um, I got them some techs. Uh, Chrono learned Cyclone and learned a dual tech with Marl, um, called Aura World. And Marl learned Aura. And you can see the next one that needs to be learned there. Um, Allure and Wind Slash. So, I've already taught them some, so they've already gotten some things done. Already up to level 4. Close to level 5, so I'm, I'm satisfied for now. A little bit OP for now, but I like being OP, so I'd rather be OP. Then, old man, get out of the way. Okay, so now let's just continue on. Um, next thing that we have to do... We have to go down here, and we have to talk to this girl over here. I hear Luca and her father have put together another crazy invention. I just hope it doesn't blow up again like the last one. They ought to be ready by now. They were setting up at the far end of the square. Oh, I want to see it! Come on, Chrono! So, that's why we couldn't get through there. You'll notice that those guys are not gone. Okay, now let's go. Just a minute! I want to get some candy! Okay, now don't touch anything while she's doing this. Don't touch anything. Do not press the button. Do not touch, press anything. Just don't press anything. You'll see why later. Just don't. Not until this comes up. Excuse me, I'd like one of these. Sure, young, sure, young miss. Thanks for waiting. Do, go find out later. Step right on up. Annie with the time and courage. Our first ever hyperdimensional transporter is the invention of the century. Simply hop up here. And you'll be teleported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my brilliant, of my beautiful and brilliant daughter, Luca. Yeah, Luca. Yeah. This teleport mean. This contraption is supposed to transport objects in the blink of an eye. Luca invented this thing. Wonder what will go wrong this time. Oh, poor Luca. Chrono. I was wondering when you'd show up. No one wants to try my telepod. Would you be so kind? Oh, this will be fun! I'll watch while you try it out! Just hop up on the left pod. Are you okay? System activated. Initiating energy transfer. Ah, my god, I'm particles! No, I worked! Amazing! I suppose even Lucas' inventions are bound to work sometimes. Oh, that's harsh! Albert, you still don't know what it means. Wow. So how was it? Want to try it again? It worked unbelievable. It never. Um, as I was saying, Luca has done it again, ladies and gentlemen. A thrilling display of science at its best. You guys, no faith whatsoever. Hello, 
looks like fun. I want to try too. Huh? Chrono, when did you manage to pick up a cutie like her? It's alright, isn't it, Chrono? Just wait here. Don't run off on me. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. I get it. She's pretty. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, I'll be right back. You sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way, I'm not afraid. Oh, why did everything go silent? Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she teleports from the platform. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. Oh, sinister music. What's happening? My pendant, it's... Uh, huh? Oh, yeah, what, what's going on? Oh, it's just... What is that? Oh, that does not look friendly. And she's stuck in it. Not friendly indeed. Oh, boy. What just happened? Um... Guys? Luca, she's not reappearing. Well, alright! As you can see, the girl has vanished before your fairy eyes. Show's over, folks. Move along. You've seen too much. You've seen too much. What just happened to Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared, that couldn't have been the telepod. The way that rift appeared and the way her pendant seemed to react to it. Something else must have caused it all. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Is there any way we can help her? That girl's face was so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. Well, they aren't doing anything about it. Let's go do something about it now. We're brave. We're the hero like that. Chrono! Oh, you're going after her? What a fine you lad. It's the only way. I don't know where that hole leads, but we've got no other choice. I just hope it opens up again. Well, it's worth a shot. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono. Embrace yourself. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. Boost the power output. Roger. More! I need more power! MORE POWER! Roger. I need Luke not Roger. There! I think we did it! Enough. Good luck, Chrono. I'll follow you as soon as I figure out what went wrong. Oh boy. Let's do the time warp again. Oh god. It's like the background's of Earthbound. <laughs> it's like the background's of Earthbound. No! Oh god, where are we now? Um, okay guys, I just wanted to get to the action part of it, because it's all in, it was all intro. So, I will see you guys next time, when we do, oh. Okay, I guess we're gonna continue next time with the battle, so I will see you guys then. Bye!